good mixture of waffle out red British accent, uh, irritating little wavy men like that one there in the middle. Little wavy men. I don't, still don't understand what this this bridge in the, the whoever designed this castle. Why would you put a bridge like that? That just seems stupid. Why is there no handrails? And that guy is walking across it perfectly confidently. But that look how rickety it is. I'd be crawling across that. Maybe the little wavy men are braver than I thought. Anyway, let's not dwell on that. That's not actually why we're here. Um, what am I here for? Well, firstly, let me just see what's going on with Path of Valor. It's always worth checking every day. Take a Titan three times. Ah, oh, dang, no, I attacked a Titan three times, but about obviously about two minutes to nine when it starts. Uh, four season two map stages, fine. Three potent healing potions. Yay, very exciting stuff. So it uh, should all be easy enough. Uh, you'll see I'm still continuing. I've obviously done the gain experience one. Uh, 60 raids in the diamond arena now i'm going into uh raids in a minute for the raid tournament luckily they count towards your uh raid total in and so what i've done um i don't live in the arena. um there was a time when i was always in diamond um but basically other players have got a lot stronger uh whereas i've more or less peaked uh because of the heroes i have or at least that's my excuse um so i tend to drop into low into high platinum and then i have to climb back into diamond um every day so i've climbed back into diamond to do my raids uh or more specifically my raid tournament so these do count towards your uh, path of valor as well even though they are arguably not uh diamond arena tournaments here is my defense team uh obviously gone yellow heavy went wukong as a tank which i don't normally do but i thought ah what the heck let's see how it goes um attacks yesterday went really well not so well the day before defense is e but i've only been hit four times I started off so well, I was A the first day I checked, but then I only had one raid. So I've only had four raids against me, so it's a bit hard to tell. You can see I had a couple of losses on the first day. Never, I never do that well on four-star raid tournaments, which is why I thought I'd do one, basically. Um, I'm, I've got a few special heroes. I've got a few of the Season 2 ones. I think I've got one Season 3, four-star, one event hero, but that's Merlin, who's purple, so I can't use him. So a little bit limited. Oh, I do have Buddy from the seasonal events uh, and Valeria come to that from the uh, from the other ones. Um, so we're going to face off against this team. Um, two greens. Uh, now, me, Mihail, uh, I've got to say, I mean, I, I always uh, say this with the caveat that it, it may not mean I'm going to win or anything. Oh, my heroes are in uh, class order. Um, yeah, uh, don't put in healers. Um, Kashrek, who, who is actually quite a reasonable tank for a four-star, uh, it's his only sort of strong position. Um, he is uh, He's a good tank, but he's reliant on healing, so he's not going to heal. Melendor is only really a healer. Uh, Kola is dangerous, Wukong could be dangerous, and what does Costume Sonya do? I don't actually know what Costume Son Sonya does. Um, she's all gone Viking. Uh, dispel status ailments. Oh yeah, okay. So status ailment remover. Um, yeah, I can see that helping her a bit. But let's see how we go. Anyway, so I've gone uh, two reds to go for the greens. I would not have gone with a green tank. I definitely wouldn't have gone with Kashrek on bloody battle. Um, as ever, this is not to say that I am going to win. Um, because that is the way things go. Uh, I know that's triggered a small combo. Always, I would say, try and look for little combos to start with, but don't feed them too much mana. That said, I'm going to give Kashrek tons of mana. It doesn't really bother me um, if Kashrek goes off, so I will clear the purples. The most worrying player uh, heroes on their team for me are Wukong and Colin. Um, Kashrek doesn't bother me all that much. I mean, he'll put up a defense against, uh, what do we call it, against red, which is fine, but then I can get rid of that like that. And this move, did it kill him? No, it didn't kill him, but it'll be pretty close. Now, Colen is the one I'm actually worried about, so I'm going to target him. Uh, I don't think this will... Oh, that was lucky, that did kill him. You'll see here, this is the uh, the beauty of... Um, well, this is where they've gone wrong. See, now, uh, Sonya will go off, which is fine. He'll go off and do absolutely nothing. Wukong goes off and puts up the uh, perfect riposte, uh, not perfect riposte, um, gambler's stance, which can be quite dangerous, but it, then again, it was very, very quickly and easily removed by my debuffer, who I had um, carefully charged just before that. Um, Melendor is, yeah, um, I'm afraid Melendor is, is pretty pointless on bloody battles. I mean, you've got, there is that element of he can debuff, um, but literally that's it. And debuffing alone is not... 
Um, it doesn't make him into that valuable a hero. And, oh, she survived that. I thought that would finish her off, but never mind. Uh, there's no coming back from where she is now. So there we go. So the first one, uh, yeah, I would have said, uh, and it wasn't a particularly good screen for me, really. I would say Mihail, Mihail lost that one. Um, not very well chosen team, uh, defence team. Um, this one, oh, a little bit better. Now, again, they're going with Melendor, costume Melendor, who I believe removes status ailments, which is probably a more useful skill, really. Um, you've got... Uh, what's his face? Um, Jimmy Bob Burrill, Burrill, the, the grumpy, grumpy dwarf fella. Um, looks like an iron breaker for anybody who ever used to play Warhammer games. Um, yeah, he's there in the middle. Perfect riposte. Liu Zhu's quite annoying. Chow, also quite annoying. Two yellows is a good idea because I can't take any purples. Colen, like I say, is a risk, especially on Bloody Battle if he goes off. I haven't got any real way of getting rid of that. Uh, I'm, I'm to uh, Wilbur because he's quite useful potentially. Although that said, mm, 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 mm. They got buff remover, uh, status ailment remover in. I think that's what this one does. Do you, do you remove status ailments? Old new Melendor. Uh, dispels buffs from all. Oh no, no. If it's dispelling buffs, that's fine. I will risk that. There we go. So let's see how we go. Um, I've taken two debuffers for the simple reason they've got Beryl as a tank. Uh, if you've got, if you're facing a Beryl, um, or what's the other one? Uh, Cyprian. I mean, you can't be facing Cyprian on this tournament, but you know the general theory. If you're facing Cyprian uh, or uh, Beryl, I would always recommend taking a couple of debuffers, ideally of different colours, um, which then gives you a lot of uh, flexibility. Um, like I say, I would not take Melendor. Uh, nothing to be gained from uh, Melendor. Um, I'm never sure if this is a great idea or not, because now my debuffer will remove the linkage thing. Um, I'm never sure how. <laughs> There's times that linking them all together is really, really good, and times I'm I'm less convinced. Um, it, I like I like dead heroes. Basically, I I like to go for uh, heroes dying very quickly, um, one at a time. I prefer to have lots of dead heroes, uh, two two or three dead heroes, and lots of wounded heroes because wounded heroes can still be quite dangerous. Um, that's my personal thing. Uh, it does raise the question, why did I take Wilbur? Would I have been better off taking somebody else? He does do a good job of putting the shields down, um, especially. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have taken him. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, that one came together. Like I said, don't take um, a healer. It would be my general advice there. Um, a healer that removes, you know, buff removing. Yeah, buff removing is handy. But um, similar similar team we got. Uh, who have we got? We got Guardian Jack Jackal. Is Jackal Falcon? I can never. I always get too confused. Jackal. Uh, yeah, he's quite annoying and a good choice when you've got three yellows. Although luckily he only hits one, unlike Falcon. Uh, you've got. Um, oh, I can never think of his name. The little nappy wearing fella uh, with the nipples. Um, Dansborough. Dansborough. Uh, I was going to call him Cagabar. Uh The guy in the end does uh, rebound, which is quite annoying. Uh, Counterattacks. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so he's he's annoying. So a debuffer for him is quite handy, and a debuffer for uh, old uh, Beryl there, uh, the angry Ironbreaker in the middle. And Luju, of course, can be can be fairly dangerous. Now I was quite lucky last time; I had a very nice green screen to start, so I can almost certainly assume I won't get the same um, preferential treatment again. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, reasonable number of blues. Blues are quite handy here as well because I do obviously have uh, Sonya, so I'm going to want. Basically, I want one of my debuffers to be close to ready, if not ready, when um, little uh, Beryl there goes off. Uh, not not quite ready, but close to ready. That that's, should be okay. Uh, I basically don't want to spend the whole uh, of the raid uh, hitting myself, funnily enough. Uh, so there we are. So that should take that down. Hopefully... Uh, set myself up with a little three in a row which hopefully will finish Beryl off not quite um i will finish um mm, no i'm gonna leave him a turn so what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna use came on this turn uh, i'm gonna do the five in a row yellow which oh it's triggered a bit of a combo there ah, it, i was hoping it would kill um, Beryl, which obviously it uh, hasn't. However, it's 
not a huge issue because I can get rid of Beryl's special straight away. Now I imagine Beryl's health is yeah, next to none now. So if I hit the yellow gem, hopefully that will finish him off. There we are. He is done. Now hopefully this combo here will knock out Jackal. Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, Trickster's Gambit, he has got... Uh, oh, that's. I think that's probably, well, that looked pretty ha pretty effective. So he's got one which has done uh, increased mana, uh, mana generation shield. Uh, ooh, now I, I was going to use that on those two to put them together, but never mind. I'll use it on. Um, what's his name again? Um, Jim, Bill. Dan, Dansbury, Dansbury, that's it, Dansbury. Um, I uh, this should hopefully link them together, finish off Dansbury. Uh, let's get rid. This will get rid of the perfect repost that is up on uh, Sumitomo. Sumitomo. Um, he's not a hero. I've got Sumitomo. Um, nor is he one I desperately want, if I'm honest. But. Uh, He's, he is one of those two those season two heroes I've managed to avoid um, getting, along with most of the five stars, particularly Tarlac, who, uh, who I very much like. Um, I did get uh, what's his name? At Atomos. Atomos. There we are. Yeah, I'll take that. That was quite. That's quite good. Three wins. Um, yeah, pleased with that. That's good. So that takes me, ooh, top 1%, for at least for now. Mind you, it's very, very, very early on the day. Ah, very similar team here. Uh, oh, Hansel and Gretel. Uh, don't have either of them. They're both very, very annoying. Uh, and they'll get a bonus because they're both from the same thing. They've got um, Wilbur, who will be annoying. Uh, nappy nipple guy again. Uh, and Beryl. So I'm, I'm probably not going to change my team here. Uh, now, last time the screen was okay-ish. So this time the screen will probably be terrible for greens. Or... Maybe my luck will have turned. Uh, those are yellows. Yellows are okay, I suppose. Um, it's really... Uh, green blues I could do with. I don't know if this is going to... I'm going to hope this triggers a reasonable combo, which it did in a way, but not exactly the combo I wanted. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Um, hmm. What are we in here? I mean, to build up some power without actually um, hitting one of the guys who's going to fire all of the damage back at me. Risky tactic. Um, yeah, so trying to get... Sonia ready to debuff. <laughs> What's his face? Beryl, but I can't do that. So I'm just going to have to risk it. Um, yeah, really annoying. Uh, there goes. What's her name? She is properly annoying. And now that means my Cademon won't be any use, uh, which is very irritating. Their Wilbur's going to go off, which is now going to make my Wilbur obsolete. Um, I think Mewob goes off again. At least he's hit the same hero which is which is good in a way because the the mana screw up is now only affecting him um i can't do anything about my shield down yeah uh i'm hoping that little the little nappy worried fella gets one of the bad things he's got freeze i think that is bad yeah he's frozen himself that's good it's the downside of the little the little um he can cripple himself uh, current, oh, another yellow, yellow five in a row, and it's okay to hit uh, what's his name with a yellow five in a row because he's got no, uh, he can't generate any mana, which is nice. Um, often worth looking when you, if you can't ghost tiles, and by ghost tiles, I mean um, fire them up the middle of the screen or in, into the empty spaces so that you get extra mana. Um, you can always try and offload them into heroes who have got their mana frozen, just like like Gansborough had then. Uh, I'm going to go for Sonia. Let's see, can I get Sonia ready? No, not quite. 
Sonia is a really, uh, she's one of my favorite heroes. I've had her for a very, very long time. Uh, I still use her quite a lot. She's a very sort of good all rounder in my opinion, which um, my not so modest opinion, generally speaking. Uh, let's see. Um, probably can't stop uh, Gretel going off. Oh, no. Um, yeah, there we are. And one of my gnomes um, killed off um, Danza Barrow. So, yeah, tidy. Take that. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um, oh, can I make it five in a row? Ooh, let's see. Now, uh, Melindor, Kirill. Now, I would say... Uh, and I again, as ever, I may regret um, saying this. I would say that I should win this one um, because they have got a they've got far far too many healers. Uh, doesn't always follow, of course, but they have got a lot of healers. Now, what's his name? Uh, skill skull can be quite dangerous, uh, but the two healers don't worry me too much. I'm going to try this. Uh, I would. Have, they've got no yellows as well, which I would have said is, is really silly when you've got a tournament where you can't take purples. Pers personally, this is. Um, so Melindor doesn't really worry me at all. Um, I'm going to just trigger this little blue combo here. Uh, da, 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 da. Not an amazing screen to begin with, but, you know, take it as we go. So he's put up their shields, which is which is good, but he's not actually um, what do you call it generating uh, any actual healing, which is which is bad from their point of view. Uh, I'm going to hit what's his name skill skull there. Uh, now I'm going to slide the yellow gem into the five in a row there. You can see so it will get rid of all the yellows and then replace them with another yellow. Oh, that's what I was going to do, but my fat thumb messed it up. Um, so yeah, never never trust somebody with fat thumbs. It's amazing. I don't, I don't know how I managed to put so much weight on my thumbs. Anyway, never mind. That move has then triggered a nice big combo, which will roll over there, and that should finish off Skill Skull and set things up. Now, uh, Kirill might go off, which yeah, it looks like he's fairly close to going off. Uh, so what I'm going to do is hit him, hit him again. I'm not worried about his healing, but it's just easier to defeat everyone when he hasn't got when they haven't got their shield up and attack boost. Um, so pile stuff into him. Oh, actually, no, he's going to die anyway, I think. Uh, probably don't need to worry too much. So I'm going to hit um, Khalil. Khalil, finish off Khalil. It's now just a case of finishing off um, Sonia. So let's get rid of her um, shield boost. Sonia, like I say, is a good hero, but there's no way she's going to kill all five of mine, he says with hopeful confidence. Um, and there we go. Blimey, that's two days in a row. I've run all five on four star, which is very, which is very, 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 very rare for me indeed. And I could probably only do it on bloody battle. Uh, four of the teams there I faced had taken a healer, which, um, as I say, is, is I would argue is just not a good idea. Um, it's you've, you've basically wasted a space for a hero. I mean, they do have secondary skills, but I wouldn't rely on them. Um, there's probably one or two players who don't have other four stars, but uh, by this stage, most of those players were fairly experienced. I would hope that they would have more. I want to get my chest as well. Hello, Lucy. Here you go. Oh, epic hero token. What you got there? What's mummy's that? number. Oh, mummy's number. Oh, hang on. I'll... Give you mummy's number. I will give you mummy's number in a moment, okay? Yippee, All right, there we go. Right, anyway, so that is that. So, yeah, pretty pleased with the results there. I'm going to uh, leave it there. Please remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope there were some helpful tips in there. Reading, like I say, is, in my opinion, the most sort of cerebral part of the game. Uh, and it's why I particularly like doing videos about raiding, more so than uh, most other things. Um, the, the, the lack of battle items mean you're very dependent on the screen and the order you use your heroes, which is what I really like. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, take care of yourself in these dark times and may death come swiftly to your enemies. This is Farmer Ben saying goodbye. Goodbye.